Jackie. And I'm Ashley. Welcome to The Witching Hour. The Witching Hour is a little extension of Dumb Witch Club where we give you a witchy quickie. What that is, is we take a big topic, break it down into bite-sized pieces, and while we do, we have a little sip of something to drink. So for this one, I need you to, to pronunciate it. La Belle Angelée. So pretty. And I think that means the beautiful angel. Indeed. And it's a French rosé. Mm. And it looks like you on the label of the bottle. I will admit it kind of does. It's like a lady walking on a beach. She, she kind of has like short little hair. She has like a little sun hat. Yeah, like, it's you. Yeah. You're I, a lady. Sometimes you walk me. on a beach. I have. I've walked on the beach before. That is mm-hmm. true. And I am a lady. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like I love it. Cheers. Cheers. It. Well, I like the smell of it. Ooh. It's like crisp. This is very crisp. It's very clean. It is like that crisp. You know, like if you have grapes, but you have them in the freezer. Yes. And then, or even just the refrigerator. Yes. And they're cold and you bite it. And you get that little. It's like crisp. Yeah, like a little. It's almost like on your tooth. It is a very it's, I'm going to sound really pretentious, but it is a very French mm. rosé. It's like you can tell when it's like that style. Yeah. It's just because of the style, the way that they like make it. I feel like it's drier. and It is dry and yeah, it's just very clean. Like mm-hmm. you taste it, but it doesn't really leave anything yeah, it's on clean, your palate. Exactly. Let's see. Hmm. Pleasant, fruity, and fresh rosé. Delicate aromas of raspberry and grenadine. Interesting. Hmm. Um, yeah, okay. So, no, it is. It's But it's not, like, super berry-heavy. Remember that jam one? Yeah, jam jar. Yeah, jam jar. I liked jam jar. I know, you did. You like saying it, too. Jam that jar. one was very jammy. This, I wouldn't say it's jammy. It's just very fruity and crisp and fresh. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. This mm-hmm. would be a very good, like, poolside. All rosés are good poolside. Brunch. Rosé, it's just very good. It is. It's very good. And the bottle is very cute. So pretty. So, woo, what we got coming at these folks today? For this witching hour, we have another installment of Polarity Wars. <laughs> Polarity Wars. It gets louder every time. Okay. <laughs> I project. You do. Um, Polarity Wars, this is Gemini versus Sagittarius. Uh-oh. So, Polarity Wars, we take the polarity energy signs and we kind of hash out which one is the best. Yeah, which one's the winner. Which one's the winner. Not in a fight. Like, that's not the thing. No, it's not like if you, yeah, not like a literal fight. It's Mm-mm. like, obviously, I mean, this is our opinion, but, you yeah. know, we're right. So, of course. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like there's um, an, an inherent conflict in Gemini Sagittarius for you. Yeah, there is. Because I'm a Gemini rising and I'm a Sagittarius moon. Yeah. So how do I pick? How do I pick between my rising and my moon? I don't know. Like which one's the least frustrating? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're going with? Well, Just my, like what hits the lowest bar Literally, first. I'm like my, my sc- Scorpio sun, which is who I really am, is like, which one's the least annoying? Like, both annoy me. They annoy me about myself. I don't know. I mean, they're both very dynamic. They're both, they're both there. They are. They're both very busy signs, I would yeah. say, in different yeah. ways. The Gemini energy is very communicative yeah. and talky and bouncing around and busy in that way. And then Sagittarius is very busy in its own way of being like, Are you doing Gemini energy with that or? Yeah, I think that was that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I know what I'm picking now after I saw that. (laughs) Did you like that? Did you like it? I know. It's pretty cool. It's pretty good. It's my rising sign. Yeah. No. So. (laughs) It's rising right now. That's right. Uh, No. And so Sagittarius is very busy in his own way. It's um, sort of like wise and thoughtful, but it's also like adventurous and kind of moving forward and, you know, kind of collecting knowledge in that kind of way. So I think there's, you know, there's a similarity. There's a difference. Um, I don't know what you're going to pick. We did not. Well, we pre-discussed the fact that we were not going to discuss it. We pre-discussed that. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want me to tell you? Well, it's, we are recording the episodes. Okay. Yes, you have to tell well, me. Well, you could have said yours. Okay. But it's, it's somewhat anticlimactic because I, I'm going Gemini and 
really, I'm going Gemini as almost like a PSA mm. because of the hate that they get. Mm, I see. I think Sagittarius will be fine. They don't give a shit. They're like, okay, whatever. Give them to Gemini. They're not watching They don't this. care. They're not watching this. They don't care. And my moon's like, and? Again, just ignore me. That's fine. Like, it doesn't care. Mm-hmm. So personally, <laughs> like, yeah, my, my Gemini side's like, oh, yes, it's me. Okay, so, so yeah. I was going to go with Sagittarius. Um, I think partly it's because it's a fire sign. I'm a fire sign. Yeah, I, I really get it. appreciate that energy. And this isn't really, I mean, yes, it ends up being about you. But I think Sagittarius is a really good placement for a moon because it gives the moon some fire and some punch. So anyways, I, I like think that. I like it. This is the first time <gasps> yeah. that we've had... I don't want to call it a disagreement. No, it's like a draw. On polarity wars, it's a it's draw. It's a draw because they're both good. We're not saying, yeah, we're not fighting about it. No, and I'm actually glad that you did pick Gemini because I already had picked Sagittarius. Yeah. And it's kind of nice because there is no loser at all. There's no loser. Yeah. And, and I, I got to get a little love, you know, for the signs that don't get a lot of it. So. Yes. All right. All right. So polarity wars, it's a draw. Ding, ding, ding. Cheers.